All right, joining me now on his fight week, uh, UFC 282 fight week, we got middleweight Edmund Shabazi in here. Edmund, how's it going, man? We're just uh, six days out from your fight. How are you feeling? Yes, sir. I'm feeling really good. You know, I'm ready to go Saturday night. Yeah, and, and how, was, uh, how was your camp for this one? I'm assuming everything went smooth. You're feeling good to get in there and uh, pick up a win. Yeah, everything went smooth. I feel healthy, strong, and yeah, like I said, I'm ready to go, and I'm going to put on the performance. Yeah, no doubt. Um, talk to me about you know what what your life's been like since the last time we saw you competing there like what was your camp were there certain things that you focused on this time around that that you feel like you could pull out of these uh the, the fights that you've had recently yeah you know uh as you know i switched my camp um i'm here at las vegas right now and a lot of things went a lot of things changed uh switched my management switched my camp and my residency you know uh out here is amazing. I took I took uh, what a, a little over a year off, just to improve and get better and w work on you know like my any of my any flaw that I had and just improve as a fighter you know, um, and I'm happy to be where I'm at. So Saturday it's gonna show. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy that you're you're happy coming into this one. Um, for people that don't know, right? So you uh, you're training at the PI now, is that correct? So I train at the PI. Uh, at extreme i work with dewey cooper and jason manley as well nice how'd you get hooked up with them were you just kind of feeling you know put some feelers out and see see who you liked uh personality wise the best and get some work in or how did you how did you come across this process to switch can uh so i thought i went and talked with ali uh and he basically uh we, we talked together and uh he recommended you know dewey cooper and uh to train at extreme and then i also knew jason uh from before and he, he was out here in vegas so uh connected with all of them and it's been amazing yeah nice man i guess um you know coming into this fight what's the mindset right you're on a you, you had such a hot start to your career you won all these fights in a row more then you took the the big step up fighting these contenders i mean you're fighting some of the best guys in the world this is not a knock on you by any means but what is uh what's the learning experience been like is there is there been anything you've been able to really um take away from fighting those sort of uh you know the derek brunsons of the world the imavovs what, what what are the biggest takeaways from those fights of course, you know, there's a lot of takeaways. Um, just being in there with them um, helped help me improve as a fighter, you know. Um, taking what I did wrong or right after the fight and just working on those areas, improving. And with the coaching staff that I have now and the training partners, all the high-level guys I have now, I feel like I'm going to get – I'm getting so much better and uh, I've gotten so much better since my last fight. And uh, on Saturday, it's going to – I'm going to display that performance. And I know a lot of fighters say sometimes they learn more from a loss than a win. So for you, um, you know, was that something that was, was difficult for you to deal with? Like, did you feel any pressure coming in as, a, as an undefeated fighter? And, and you, you had such a quick ascent to the top. Do you feel like mentally there was too much pressure on you at all? Or was that not really an issue? I mean, uh, not, I mean you could say there was pressure, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, if you're doing good in the UFC and uh, they – they want to elevate you. Um, you're gonna to have to take those uh, opportunities, and I'm just blessed to have taken them and uh, experienced all those, uh, you know, fights and learning from them. I'm, I'm I've learned from them, and um, now being where I'm at in my career, I feel like those were all like helpful learning experiences. And yeah, like I said, Saturday night it's gonna show. Yeah, I can't wait for the fight. Um, you came in the UFC what? You were 21, right? Yeah, so uh, I did the contender series when I was about 20. So I got signed at 20 and made my debut at 21. And that's, now I turned uh, 25 about a week and a half ago. That's <laughs> crazy, man. You're still so young, even though I feel like we've uh, we've gotten to know you quite well over the years. What would you, Is there any advice you would kind of give some of these up-and-comer guys? Like, I feel like being put on that stage at 20 years old is like such a, such a challenge. But now that you've got those, you know, four or five years under your belt, is there anything you look back on and say, hey, you know, I I, w I wish I'd done this a little bit differently, or if I was a young fighter, I would I would do it this way. Yeah, um, definitely, I would say uh, to take your time and trust the process. Um, take every day as a learning experience, and um, try to get as much knowledge as you can from different fighters or coaches. You know, expand your surroundings so that way you can uh, be like a sponge and 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 take in new techniques, new improvements, you know, and that's the, that's the way you're going to get better. You know, when you do really good, you're going to, you're going to, they're going to, you might get pushed up a little quick, but you know, it's, it's not to worry, you know, as long as you 
learn techniques and improve day by day and work with different coaches and partners, I feel like you'll be okay. Yeah, and in uh, this matchup you got coming up here, is this a little bit more in your wheelhouse stylistically? Do you like this fight? Like the last few guys you fought, right? Very well-rounded fighters, but like Derek Brunson, wrestler, you know, Jack Hermanson, probably, won't, you know, wrestler. Um, uh, Imavov, you know, somebody that wanted to kind of take you down. So is it nice to fight somebody that maybe relies on their striking a little bit more in Dolce? Yeah, you know, I, I know Dolce is a, a powerful and explosive dude, so... Yeah, it's cool. Whoever I face, you know, uh, I try to come in the best and prepare myself the best I can. And yeah, Daltra, I'm ready for him. You know, I've trained hard, worked hard and committed, committed a lot. And I've sacrificed a lot. So I'm ready to put on a performance of my life. And Saturday night, it's going to be good. Yeah, and what are the things you have to be aware of uh, the most when you fight Dolce? Like, I don't know if you're a guy that, that studies a ton of tape on him or if you kind of leave that up to Dewey and, and some of the other coaches you're working yeah. with. But is it the power? Is that the big thing? Or do you feel like... Yeah, I, I think he's he's very explosive and uh, powerful. And also, like, he can, you know, he has some explosive judo as well. So being aware of those things and really uh, neutralizing those and just picking them apart is is what you have to do. Yeah. And this is obviously, um, you know, the end of the year is coming up here and you got 2023 on the horizon. Are you setting any sort of goals for yourself? Do you feel like 2023 is going to be a big year for you? For sure. You know, I'm taking it uh, fight by fight now, you know, I'm not, not rushing anything and I'm not overlooking anybody. But, yeah, uh, I'm planning to come in and dominate and uh, end the year strong and then start 23, uh, the year 2023. It's really, really good as well. Cool, man. Well, I really appreciate your time today. Uh, good luck on Saturday. Safe travels, and we'll be talking to you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm actually in Vegas now. You're so. in Vegas. I just caught the yeah, just Yeah, yeah, but, so. All right, cool, man. Well, in my bed before the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice, man. Well, yeah. good luck with everything anyway. Thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it.